my name is Amber and today is day 11 of our workout for dumbbells and what we're going to do is upper body today so yay I'm going to try increasing my weight to eight pounds today so yay me um, and we're going to do two blocks today and we're going to do uh, two sets 15 reps the first block is going to be push-ups renegade rows um, bench press with our dumbbells and then uh, standing reverse flies that's our first block and then our second block is going to be uh, frontal raises uh, side bends for our core and then we're going to also do the squat uh, with a it's kind of be like a squat row and then kick back so we got a fun workout today first we're gonna start with push-ups I'm going to do modified push-ups. You could either do modified like this or regular feet together like that. We're going to do 15. Let's go. So since our renegade rows are a little bit more difficult, we're going to do eight total. So right, left is one. And we're not gonna do a push up with this one. You could either go on your knees for modified or you can do regular. But our motion, we're going to separate our knees a little bit more and we're gonna row back just like that. So let's go ahead and begin. Keep your back as straight as you can. If it's, if you're wobbling too much right and left, go to modified. If this is too easy for you, add a push up in there. All right, let's go ahead and go to the floor. We're going to be doing the dumbbell bench press. So with that, we're just going to have our weights about chest height, and then we're going to bring it up and down, just like that for 15. Now we're gonna head on up and do our reverse fly. So I like to squat with this. You're gonna squat, bring your weights together and bring them apart. So make a W with your arms, okay? So lean a little bit more forward, squat a little bit lower. We got 15. All right, so you know, if you have been joining with me or if this is new for you, what I like to do is a minute rest. So that's one of the things that I like about my workouts is that I do a block, get in as many reps as I can, then have a minute rest to really 
regain my strength for that next set. Oh my gosh, today, today I have to say it was a pretty good day. There was a little bit of hiccups here and there. There are some people have a little bit of road rage out there. If you are driving and there's a slow car in front of you, maybe there's a reason, maybe they have a kid in the back, or maybe the kid is yelling and <laughs> they're trying to focus on driving, but um, don't honk. <laughs> That's what I had to deal with today. I had to deal with somebody honking behind me and oh, it was, ugh. I am just so glad that we're able to get our workout in today and just focus on that and get rid of, I just wanna get rid of that negativity. <laughs> I just had to like tell you about it because it was just traumatic. Let's go ahead and start off with our push-ups, 15. But that's the great thing about workouts, you know? It just helps you just burn off that anger, get you motivated. Once you've done your 15, get ready for those renegade rows. So again, widen out your stance, bring down those hips. You don't want your hips up in the sky. You want your hips down and we're just gonna row back. Let's go. Ready, go on your back. Let's get to it, 15. Stand on up. Reverse fly. Take your time with this, all right? Let's go. down those weights. So, like I said, I increased my weight. So before I was using six pounds, now I'm using eight pounds. Um, I don't know why I was so scared to go up to eight pounds for a little bit, because I'm just like thinking, oh, I'm so not ready for it. I just had a baby, I'm kind of weak right now. And at work, I can barely lift like 45 pound weights to put them away. And I'm just thinking, Am I going to be able to do this workout for like, you know, a full 20 minutes or whatever, or whatever our workouts are. So, I mean, after increasing it to these eight pounds, I have to say, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I increased it two extra pounds because it feels great. Like, I feel like I can do this. It's a perfect weight for me as of right now and Honestly, I look forward to like increasing it in the future because 
I'm just feeling a lot stronger than I was before. So next workout exercise, we're going to bring our hands on each side of the weight, just like that. You're going to rise this up and bring it back down, just like that. We're doing 15. So you wanna bring it about eye level. Let's go. Very slow. Just as I said, I'm glad I increased it. I'm just like, whew, that one was a good one. So now we're gonna work out our side obliques. We're going to separate our feet a little bit, shoulder width apart. Uh, our hand is going to go up by our head just for, um, just for to give you an upright position. And then we're gonna have one weight on the side and you're going to kind of dip and bring that weight towards that knee. We got 15 on the right, 15 on the left. Let's go. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. And I always be around when I need some love and baby. Other side. All right, now we're going to squat and stay in a row. So squat, row, back. So I'll give you a view from the side. So squat, row, kick back. But we're going to stay in that kick back and we're going to bring our weights back and work out our triceps. So let's go ahead and begin. We're doing 15. So just kick back. Whew. All right, we got a minute rest. My cord is just sneaking up in the front of my shirt. Uh, but yeah, with my workouts and like my times off or like my rests, I'll say, I'll get some good conversations, right? <laughs> Telling you about my day. <laughs> I keep it fresh. Hmm. Sometimes I'm just quiet though. Posey is learning so much. She, like I said before, she's crawling. She's saying mama and papa. She's almost 10 months. So, and oh, she started to like kind of stand up on her own. That's a new one. 
um, very exciting for us as new parents. We're just like, oh my gosh, every little thing she does, it's adorable. All right, this is our last round. Let's go ahead and get these weights. We're going to do the frontal raises. Let's get to it. All right, side bends. So just like this, upright posture and bend to the side. Other side. Sometimes as I'm working out, I'm thinking about the next programs I wanna do. I should be thinking more about my muscles activating, that movement. <laughs> Good, now grab both weights. So row and then kick back. And we're just gonna stay in that kick back. Let's do 15, this is the last one. Let's go, slow and easy. Almost there. All right. Once you've reached 15, stretch out your deltoids, the muscle right here in your shoulder. <gasps> side step it out a little bit too, right? <laughs> Other side. We did it. You did your upper body workout, so congratulations. You made it through one more workout with me. I'm so glad that we're working out together, getting in shape. I can't wait to hear your progress. Towards the end of this program, I would like you to write down, you know, what, what you liked most about this program, what you have been able to achieve, what you've been able to overcome. It could be just doing the workouts every day, or it could uh, be, have you changed your nutrition with the workouts? Have you been able to increase your lifting? Or uh, like the weights? Or were you able to do something? What, were you able to make something easier by constantly doing it? Like, were you able to like do 10 push-ups instead of like doing only five in the beginning? You know, that kind of thing. So I would love to hear your progress. And I am so proud of you for keeping up with this program. I'll see you tomorrow for more. We're almost done. I'll see you later.